I just don't think he'll fit in this net. No, he will not. He'll tail will be sticking in. I don't like fit his head. This is the time where we have a big fish and small net. So I should have brought my bigger one, but it happens. Here's going to be the tough thing is getting through that bridge pylon if he decides to go over there. So you're, you're doing fine. You're doing fine. This is a big fish. That rod bent like that. This is the one you want. He's pulling. Yep. Oh, watch the You want to get all the way around. So when you go over here, yep, when you go over here, you'll have to kind of go around the back. Hugging like that, that's a big fish. This is the one we want. Rocky down there. Look at that here. rod bend. <laughs> Grant, tell us about the fight. Well, he's about to turn himself in, but he's still <laughs> pulling. He does not want to go home. We got him through the bridge piling down here, which is good on light tackle. He's giving up. Using 20 pound braid. 20 pound shock mono leader. We're going to pull up without reeling. The big thing is keeping pressure on him. There you go. He's decompressing those air, air bubbles. It's a good fish you got. Head shaking down there. He's trying to get, think about it. He's trying to get off that line. You're trying to get him in. So it's a Tennessee River monster here. You're like, I just want to be done. I know you want to be done. I do too, but this is a patience game now.
water is eight feet deep, yep. and the fish is straight down. There he is. Big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. We need the big net. This is like literally the biggest fish of ever. I just don't think he'll fit in this net. No, he will not. He'll tail will be sticking in. I don't like fit his head. This is the time where we have a big fish and small net. So I should have brought my bigger one, but it happens. We were catching some bass and drum in the morning. And uh, we typically catch eater sized catfish this time of the year. But every now and then you get the mother of mothers, okay? That will take the bait. So we're using a cut piece of raw chicken. We're gonna need a bigger net. I got my buddy Sam Simons over there. He's gonna give us his big net, which is good. He's mad. He just made another run. Hold on a second. Thanks, Sam. I really appreciate that. We saw a little bit. I looked like upper 30, low 40. He's right underneath the boat right now. Ah, this fish just won't give up. Gotta have patience, just patience. Patience over power with this fish. I saw him one. Oh, 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 he's coming, he's coming. All your work. <laughs> All your hard work. Yep. You compress them. Oh yeah, he's right there. Let's see. Keep pulling up slow. Can 
reel down. Keep you on it. Yeah. Yep, that's him. Yeah. Here he comes. I got you. I got you. Got to get head first. Oh gosh, we got him, dude. <sighs> that is a big catfish. Woo! Hey, Nux, Nux. That's long. He just had a lot of tail in him. That's a long fish. Hey, man. Fish of a lifetime. Yeah, I'm glad we got the big net. Guys, look at that fish. I'd say, I'd probably say mid to upper 30s, you know? He's long, he's skinny, doesn't have much girth. Looks like this fish just came off the spawn too, so. All right, we're gonna go ahead and, we'll be back guys, we're gonna go ahead and take pictures and then we'll be back with the release. We're back, 34 pounds. Long fish. Oh. You're fine. Put in tail first if you can. Do not let go with those grippers though, okay? Okay, this is the important part. Move him back and forth. Good. Because he fought for a long time. It took 35, 40 minutes. Grant did a very good job battling this fish on standard spinning oh. gear. He may be ready. And what you can do is pull He's those now. You know, pull those yellow grippers away from you. There he goes. Back to the depths. Oh, man, that was hey, good. High five. Good job. What'd you think? That was huge. <laughs> it was. He did a good job bowing that fish. That's a trophy sized catfish for the state of Tennessee. So he was long. Oh yeah. But uh, we're gonna do it again, guys. We're just drifting below Chickamauga Dam using our standard spinning gear. We're just using grocery store-bought raw chicken. So, nice job.